What a scene in Oradell, a matchup of North Jersey superpowers. The Bergen Catholic Crusaders hosting St. Joseph Montvale. St. Joe's coming off a bye week. Johnny Langan and company had that huge comeback win against Paramus Catholic on Friday night. Opening drive, Johnny Langan finds trouble. It's Evan Stewart with the big stop there. The drive ends. So now Bergen Catholic having to punt. There's issues. It goes into the end zone. And that's a safety. St. Joe's puts two points on the board early in the game. Now it's time for Nick Patty and St. Joe's to go to work on offense. Good job of electing to run with the football. Nick Patty, a great decision maker. He picks up 23 yards. And then it's Patty to Yasir Berry. That's a four yard touchdown. Great catch in traffic. St. Joe's has a nine nothing lead in the first. Bergen Catholic responds. This is third and five. Johnny Langham to Dylan Classy. The future Princeton Tiger makes a 35 yard gain. What a grab right there. And then it's Langan going right back to Classy. Stay Classy. Dylan Classy from 32 yards out. Crusaders on the board. We've got a 9 7 game. In the second quarter, Patty has all kinds of time. Look at that protection by the O-line. Isaiah Hopkinson on the dump off. He's up the sideline and see you later. Isaiah Hopkinson with an 84 yard touchdown, 16-7. The St. Joe lead is nine early in the second quarter. This Bergen Catholic team was never gonna back down though. Crusaders on the read option look. Langan keeps it, lowers the boom. Tough running from Johnny Football. 11 yards, move the chains. And then it's Langan back to Classy. This Dylan Classy is a playmaker. Man, that is awesome. He takes the plunge into the zone. A 10-yard touchdown. We got a 16-14 game. Then it's the Crusaders defense stepping up. Aeneas to Cosmo, the quarterback sack. Bergen Catholic's gonna get the ball back. And it's time for Johnny Langan to run that option again. Langan, look at him running between the tackles. And this is a fantastic touchdown run. 22 yards for Johnny Langan, but hold everything. This one's called back due to holding. So instead of seven points, Bergen Catholic has to settle for this field goal from Michael Kearney. 32 yards and 17-16 Crusaders, under two minutes to go in the half. And Bergen Catholic gets the ball back just before the half. And this is big. Josh McKenzie from 23. Bergen's offense is rolling at the half. Crusaders go up 8, 24 to 16. Josh McKenzie coming up big in the closing moments of the first half. That was a great run right there. Second half action now. It's Patty with all kinds of time once again. Matt Alimo. He has made a lot of highlights on Jersey Sports Zone already. That's a 24-yard gain down to the four-yard line, and it would lead to this. Isaiah Hopkinson is in the zone again. Four yards, second touchdown of the game for Hopkinson. 24-23, St. Joe's down just one. When Bergen Catholic needed an answer, they know who to go to. Josh McKenzie ran with a purpose in the second half. That is a big first down conversion right there. With that great offensive line of Bergen Catholic, McKenzie caps off the drive, a two-yard touchdown. His second of the game, the lead goes back up to eight, 31-23 Crusaders. Bergen Catholic's defense played tough in the second half. Patty brought down by Anthony Corbin and Jordan Morant. The Bergen Catholic offense goes back to work. The game is to Ramir Johnson, and you're gonna need a whole lot more than a jersey to bring him down. Johnson is relentless. He's in the zone from 18 yards out. That's an awesome run right there. The lead goes back up to 15, 38-23. St. Joe Montvale would not go away. Yasir Berry, a three-yard touchdown. It's a one-possession game, 7-08 to go in the fourth quarter, 38-30, Bergen Catholic in front. Johnny Langan would not be denied in this huge rivalry game. Langan gonna do a little hurdle right there. He fights hard for every single yard. That drive would stall, but the Crusaders are able to milk the clock down to just a minute 32 to go. 
Kearney gets his second field goal from 35 yards out. That makes it an 11 point game. And the Bergen Catholic defense gonna put on the exclamation point to an unbelievable effort. This is Jordan Morant with the big stick right there. And Bergen Catholic goes on to the 41 to 30 win as the student section and the players celebrate another home victory. That is great tradition right there. A real special moment if you ever get a chance to experience it. What a game. 41 to 30 is your final. Josh McKenzie had 20 carries for 106 yards and two touchdowns. And it was really the ability of Bergen Catholic to establish that ground game in the second half that really proved to be the difference. This is why we're so excited about Jersey Sports Zone heading up north to bring you five minutes of awesome highlights from two incredible teams. Our Alex Lorenzo, he was the man behind the lens and after the game got post-game reaction from the Crusaders following their 11-point win. Thanks a lot, Rich. For a second week in a row, we see Bergen Catholic showing some grit and toughness, winning in comeback fashion once again, this time behind a perfectly executed running plan. And after the game, I caught up with the victorious Bergen Catholic Crusaders. Well, our o line just did a great job, you know, mashing them in the mouth every play, and uh, we just blocked it up really good, and when there's holes, we ran in them. So, so yeah, every single week, we're playing for number one in the state, so uh, that's just how our schedule is, and that's how we're going to roll. You know, it all starts up front today. You know, we, I think we won the battle in the trenches, and, you know, we're able to run the ball. When you can run the ball, you can win games. I think Johnny played a phenomenal game today, and we had some plays, you know, where the pass opened up the run, and, you know, the run opens up the pass. And uh, we're just so versatile. You know, we can throw the ball, we can run the ball, and teams really don't know, like, who's getting it or what we're doing. So I think that really helps, you know, the versatility of our team. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Alex Lorenzo.